Hey everybody, it's George. I'm back again with Dr. Roland Thomas. Uh, you may have heard the interview we just had with uh, Patricia Brooks. Uh, she's one of my Chikung students and interested, recently introduced into Bio Superfood. Now, again, just to reiterate, is that you know she had a serious back problem and was on 20 painkillers a day. Started the Chikung because nothing else worked. And her husband's a medical doctor, yet they couldn't fix anything. So she started the Chikung and within a year off all medication and of course no more pain in her back. Well here it is three years later she had a serious shoulder issue so I recommended, you know, as I do to everybody, you know, start with the bio superfood. Well finally she listened and she got on that and I'm sure you're going to hear the interview how uh, amazing it was for her. So what's interesting is Dr. Thomas and I have known each other for 16, maybe 17 years now. But he came into my studio, my Tai Chi Chikung studio. He wanted to do Chikung and Tai Chi. And he became a student and he did it for a while. And he noticed some, some quite some amazing differences. But here was the interesting thing. I asked him what he did, as I do with all my students. Oh. And that was this kind of his attitude. I, well, I'm a naturopathic doctor. I said, oh, where are you? I can send you some sense. Well, I don't really have an office. Well, so what do you do? Well, I've got this product. It's a algae. It's bio superfood. So I said, well, let me try something. So I tried some, and I've been on it for 16 years. And what I find is, you know, we have the science about the Chikung. It's 5,000 years old. And the particular kind of Chikung that we do is specifically designed to help the body heal itself. And for many reasons. And I'm going to do some videos, and I hope you, you would like to watch them explain this. But the superfood, you know, the Chikung is, is many things to many people, but there's still an element of nutrition, particularly when we get into super nutrition. So that's when I got on this product and I went from here to here. And of course, uh, Dr. Thomas, I, he'll tell you his own words, I'm sure, but uh, he was on superfood for quite a number of years. And then the superfood took him from here to here. Then he started Chikung. And the Chikung took him from here to here. So the synergy between the two is really quite incredible. So I recommend it to everybody. Chikung, automatically, you need to do this for, for reasons I'll explain in another video. But you also need to look after your nutrition and bio superfoods is probably the simplest and the best thing you can do and he's going to tell you why. So, I hope it didn't take too much time. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you mentioned that Qigong was 5,000 years old or something. Well, bio superfood is made of algae and it's 15 billion years old. Actually, oh. it's 3.5 <laughs> billion years old. So, but it is, it remains, it. we're talking about energy. Right? Mm -hmm. Food is energy. It's a source of energy with which, or fuel with which our cell uh, de de derive energy from. We're truly our electrical being. At the end of the day, if you listen to uh, Nikola Tesla or Einstein, they, they have been telling us for decades, 100 years, that we are an energy being. We are, I like to explain uh, the bio, what the bio superfood does, and frankly, the Qigong does a, a very similar, the same thing, really. If you've seen the commercial of the alkaline battery, I think it, what yeah. brand is it? Energy. Ever ready or something? With a the, ener the yeah. energy. You know what? Going and going and going. Why? Because it's an alkaline battery. Mm -hmm. The bio superfood in also restoring your flow of your energy makes your body less acidic, which leads to less inflammation and less acidity and less pain. So, what happened to Barbara is that her, her back problem or well, her shoulder Patty. problem. Patty. Patricia. Yeah. Patricia. Did I, is that what I said? No, you said Barbara. <laughs> oh, Trish, which I just met her for God's sake. Is, uh, and as, a, as it did with me, when I had severe chronic back problem for 20 years and I started consuming this bio superfood, for me it was literally overnight I felt a relief. The next morning and the days following, I felt a relief. The pain dissipated. I was able to sit and I, be, I was able to begin running and I became a marathon runner in, in that first year. And the reason that I was, uh, that the chronic pain was there, yet I had no structural damage, according to x-rays and, and physicians, yet they still wanted to inject me with some sort of uh, medication or they wanted to open me up and I, I resisted. So the bio superfood for me was unbelievable, what it did for me in relieving me of these issues and problems. So when Patricia told me her story about her shoulder, chronic pain, she couldn't sleep, she still was taking pain medication, and she said that within the next day she noticed a difference, and she was skeptical, as I was, 
And within a few days, she started to drop the medication. And so it's not that the biosuper food is a, a medicine or, or a drug or anything like that. It's just it helps the body, uh, or particularly nourishing the brain, helps the body uh, become more alkaline again. That's how it works. Simple. But what most people don't understand is that the body is a high, highly integrative, self-healing organism. But in order for the body to heal properly, it needs certain things. 99.99% of all lower back pain or back pain is from improper posture. I just heard this on a, a, from a doctor on a video recently. So when you put the body, if the body's posture is correct, and you're stretching muscles, fascia, articular surfaces, joints, and so on, and then you put the body in a homeostatic state, it starts to heal itself. Now, Qigong is dealing with the qi, or the vital life force, or energy that goes through the body in meridians. In other words, what Dr. Thomas said is that we're energy beings. Bio superfood is energy. So when you consume food, depending on the quality, if it's animal protein, it's hard to digest, the level of energy in there is low. But as you take plants, green and red and yellow and so on, and natural plants, the vibration or energy is very high. That's what your body consumes. It doesn't consume the food itself. It extracts the energy from the food, and the rest is sent out through waste. bio soup food, in my opinion, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is that a highly, a high vibration. And because of the form, I find in powder form, that it goes in the bloodstream, it's dissolved instantly, and the energy goes through the body. So when you take the, the energy system of the meridians and, and the, the vessels and the energy system of the whole body, and then you add the next component, which is nutrition, energy that you're extracting from the bio soup food, it just goes And that's why I say the two of them are are, are synergetic, syner synergistic, pardon me, we, and they work so well together. We, I remember we, we wrote together on your website many years ago, yeah. and I had to write a little article about the bio soup food, and we called it chi food, yeah. which is what it is, because food is chi if it's the proper food. Uh -huh. it's somewhat like uh, physical exercise, is can be energy or can be devastating and the analogy that I'm going to use is if you're a street fighter and you never learn to fight you're going to get knocked out. <laughs> it's not a good form of exercise but as you learn you meet a teacher a sifu one day and he teaches you karate and you still go and fight and try to win you're still going to get knocked out by the guy who knows jiu-jitsu and one day you learn another martial art and, and then one day you meet a teacher you meet George Picard and he says why are you fighting? Back off. And you learn Qigong, the martial art that is not about violence. And fighting, it's about energy. And it's about restoring. It's about preventing trouble. You don't want to go and fight bullies. You want to stay away from trouble. That's what Bio Superfood does. It helps you to prevent the growth of new tumors, micro tumors, which are the most easiest for the body to quench. It prevents inflammation or chronic inflammation, which prevents pain. And when you have, uh, then when you can stand up straight and uh, have a good uh, posture uh, with Qigong, for example, then you can live to be over 100 without pain. Brings up a very interesting say. point. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Here's an interesting point: is that Self-defense, you're talking about martial arts, and of course I teach, I teach karate, tai chi, qigong, and so on. I teach from a martial standpoint, but now more from a health standpoint. But when we talk about self-defense, people think that self-defense is learning how to fight because somebody's going to attack you, so you want to be able to stop them or beat them up. It's not what self-defense is in the true martial way. Self-defense is defending yourself from all forms of attack. Environmental, you mentioned already pollution, yeah. disease, stress, stress. Uh, plus, as well as an attacker, there's many levels to it. Yeah. But we, the general population, uh, generally waits till they get sick before they seek help. And then they're looking for a magic bullet. And then they look for doctors and so on and fix me, fix me, fix me, where they have all the tools they need to were born with. But as we start taking this, you mentioned cancer. I, I was reading some evidence-based research this morning, actually just this morning, and they're talking about, from a Chikung standpoint, when you do the abdominal breathing and the Qigong exercise and move the energy, it's things, interesting thing happens. You reduce your cortisol level, which is your stress hormone. But it also increases what they call interferon, 
gamma. Absolutely. Now, it's part of the immune system that actually protects from cancer. It helps fight cancer. You know, as immune. And also, interleukin-10 uh, is in the bloodstream, and it's really, uh, related to inflammation. And it drops, which allows, again, the immune system to start dealing with these, these things. So that's self-defense. So, you know, I heard another doctor say that 70% of the population in the United States is either diabetic or pre-diabetic, and you have all these heart conditions and cancers and so on that can happen. So prevent it. Now it's a prevention worth a pound of cure. So when you do things like Qigong, you're taking responsibility for your own health because you have to do it. All the other treatments out there are passive. You know, put the needles in me for acupuncture, lie down, massage my back, and you'll adjust my spine and give me some energy work and so on. Where your part is basically sitting here lying there. So when you do something like Qigong, it's a physical exercise, it's simple. It actually gets the body and things I mentioned earlier, your posture, your corrective, and so on. But then you start adding something like the, the superfood, high energy, first food on the planet, you told me. Yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. The algae in the blend, uh, our bio superfood is a blend of four algae. One, the majority of the algae, the two principal algae, date back, is the first food ever on Earth, 3.5 billion years ago, the first uh, um, life form, a single cell, invisible to the eye, naked eye. And to this day, it, has, it remains the most pervasive form of uh, food on the planet, which is responsible for the oxygenation that we breathe for 80% of the atmosphere we breathe, algae at large, as well as for antioxidation of not only the water, but also the atmosphere. If it wasn't for algae, and I know it, it, this could be a, a whole class here about how algae eventually allowed for life form, for more complex life form to form. And to this day, algae can serve the same role when we ingest it. These types of algae, there are millions of algae on Earth now that we know, but they're not all the good ones, just like mushrooms. Some mushrooms you don't want to <laughs> consume. So, <laughs> it's like my father well, said, right. he said, half my half advertising is the worst damn, I just don't know which half. And I don't know which mushrooms are good or bad, just ones in the store are good. Anyway, uh, this is supposed to be about a minute and a half, but you know, we get talking, we talk often, and, and uh, some things we want to say, and I hope you enjoyed the conversation. And I hope we get, we see you soon. So, Dr. Thomas, always my pleasure. Happy Chi. Right, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>